Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm coming to you from the city of Stockholm, where we're visiting Candela, an electric boat maker that has a new model known as the C8. It really feels like I'm flying here. We're going to check out how they build them right here in their factory, and then we're going to take one of the first prototypes out on the water to have some fun, and you're coming along with us. Let's check it out. Okay, I know you want to get out on the water with us, and I promise you we will, but first we're going to take a hot second and look at what makes these high-tech flying electric boats so special and how Candela builds them. In this case, this is Candela's second model of hydrofoil electric boat. It flies on these wings here that lift it out of the water and make it quieter, faster, more energy efficient, smoother, and basically better at everything. Plus, it doesn't need a very big battery since it's so efficient. Oh yeah, and the electric drive means you don't have to deal with gas engine maintenance, noise, exhaust fumes, gas fill-ups, etc. It's just a much more pleasurable way to own a boat. In the past, I've tested Candela's first model, the C7 that preceded this one. We're basically flying, it's an incredible feeling. And while that was a blast, it had some areas that left room for improvement. For example, the hydrofoil wing couldn't lift out of the water, which meant you had to clean the barnacles off it every few weeks or it'd reduce your efficiency. The larger C8 here is able to pull its hydrofoil up above the waterline when docked, so problem solved. The bigger boat also means more stuff. For example, you get this awesome daybed in back, though the model I got to take out was the first one off the line and was still undergoing various testing, so its daybed was removed for now in favor of a beautiful 4x4 sheet of plywood. Just top-notch stuff here, people. No, but seriously, the finished boats are going to look pretty darn sweet. There's even an enclosed cabin inside that could easily sleep two adults. Keep in mind this boat I'm laying in is in production still. The workers literally had to begrudgingly move aside so I could play with their boat on the production line and prevent them from getting their work done. So note that it is going to look a bit nicer than this half-completed C8 that I just climbed aboard in the factory. But you get the idea here. There will also be room in that cabin for a small marine toilet and a shower if any of nature's needs come calling. Now the last thing I want to show you before we hit the water is the motor. The previous C7 had an electric outboard, which was fine, but it wasn't exactly silent since it was above the water. The new version has this drive-by-wire system that will of course be enclosed once the boat is completed, and more importantly, it houses the motor down below the waterline in the C-Pod that Candela's engineers developed in-house. This tiny thing outputs 50 kilowatts from a pair of counter-rotating motors. It's ultra-efficient and gets cooled by the water, plus it's ultra-silent since, you know, it's underwater. There's so much more here to this boat, such as the way they produce the carbon fiber hull as largely one giant piece now, instead of the dozens of smaller pieces like they did on the last C7 model, which now makes the production so much more streamlined and faster. But you came here to see a boat fly, so let's go flying. I got to spend two days on this thing, the first of which my wife and a friend were kind enough to join me for, and we had a freaking blast. So here's where I should introduce Michael from Candela, the nice mustachioed dude that has been showing me around and is such a nice guy that he trusted me with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of his prototype boat, even though he probably doesn't realize the last time I captained a boat was, well, about a year ago when he tossed me the keys to his Candela C7 model, and the last time I did before that was probably an amusement park ride somewhere. But fortunately, the boat is so easy to pilot that there just isn't much that you can do wrong besides running aground. And the charts are always in your face on the Candela C8's big display to show you what not to hit, like the bottom. Now, the whole beauty of a hydrofoil electric boat is that it raises out of the water to become ultra smooth and ultra efficient. And the whole beauty of Candela's boat specifically is that they've designed both the hardware and the software in-house. So it does it basically automatically. You give it throttle, and when you get going fast enough, it just flies itself right out of the water. The sound of the water lapping against the hull disappears, and you have a view as if you're now sitting on top of a stepladder. The whole thing basically feels like you're doing a Top Gun low pass to buzz a tower somewhere. Looking behind you, the wake simply disappears as you rise out of the water in this weird trippy kind of way, which is also a neat perk in that you can buzz right through no wake zones that are designated for boat or shoreline protection. 
though of course you should still respect no-wake zones that are there for wildlife refuge areas. But even in cities like Venice, Italy, where boat wakes have caused significant structural harm, candelas get an exception and can fly through at speed, while everyone else putters along at no-wake speeds. It's just another cool feature of a flying boat like this, all stable and magical and mesmerizing-like. The other amazing thing is just how stable the boat is, not just when you're going straight like this, but if I start making a turn here, I basically just have to turn the wheel, and I don't really know anything about what I'm doing here. But I can see on the screen, I've got about a five, six degree roll here. As I tighten it up, the boat is just smoothly coming around this turn, and it, it really feels like I'm flying here. I can take it a little tighter, I'm at seven, eight degrees of roll here, and everything is just going so smoothly, it's all automatically controlled, and that's really the effect that you get when these Candela engineers have designed all the software in-house. That everything is controlled, the hardware and the software is talking together, and it makes me look like I know what I'm doing, when really, I have no idea. <laughs> And when you watch the C8 all by itself like this, you start to forget what a huge upgrade over conventional boating this is. It just hovers so elegantly above the water that it almost looks effortless, but that really betrays the incredible effort that did go into designing and engineering the boat and its computer-actuated controls to achieve this. I mean, just take a look at a comparison against a typical V-hull gas-powered boat. Now I know it's subtle, but I want you to try and figure out which of the two boats is the Candela. I'm not gonna tell you. And now that you've seen what a real boat wake looks like, you might be wondering what happens when a Candela C8 encounters one of those. Doesn't it mess up the hydrofoil flying? You might think so, but no, that's the whole beauty of this big idea, is that they've designed to correct for unstable flight so quickly that it just works. And unlike other boats where you slow down when approaching a wake, Candelas actually like it better when you speed up into the wake. It's really a thing of beauty. Even the wake from a massive ferry or a cruise ship isn't a problem. We spotted this rib coming in hot and thought it might be another great chance to tackle a big wake. And again, the Candela performed awesome. To be fair, we had a slight bit of hole contact right there for a split second, but I'll allow it because, you know, I'm on essentially a robotic flying boat here, people. It's also easy to use, it blows the mind. Even landing, which is considered to be generally pretty tricky, is a piece of cake. So the landing here is even easier. Basically, I'm just gonna throttle back here. And we settle in like an old man into a warm bath. It's beautiful. There's a lot going on here, and I can't wait to see how the boat continues to shape up. Like I mentioned, I was on a prototype, and even this one had a few issues that are still being worked out to make the flying and landing even smoother. Hopefully I'll get a chance to test out a serial production version to compare it to the prototype. For 300,000 euros or so a pop, I don't think it's going to be on my Hanukkah list anytime soon, but for anyone who has that kind of boat money, I definitely think you're going to want to check this out. It's just a nicer, better, and more pleasurable boating experience. You charge it up instead of gassing up. You can charge in a few hours on three phase or in under an hour on DC fast charging, and you're good to go. There's even cool additional features like a hard top and other add-ons you can go for. The world is your oyster, and it's gonna be a cleaner oyster with a future of electric boats. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that video visiting Candela's factory here and testing out their new C8 flying electric boat. If you did enjoy the video, why don't you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.